Well, hello there again, YouTube. I want to give you my salutations on this um, May 8th, uh, new moon, new moon in Taurus, actually. So, Taurus would be the sign of just strength, power, and fortitude, and um, yes, ability to take on new responsibilities, new. Uh, new projects well i guess that's every new moon pretty much like starting new projects or new beginnings but um it's good to see every day is special in some way uh, yes every day is a miracle um so since it's a new moon and the sun's gonna increase the moon's gonna increase from now on uh we want uh 10 things that we want to increase in our life well, I'm always asking for more sensitivity. Not just in my own skin and my body, but also, uh, I guess, again, all those uh, Claire's, like Claire Audience, Claire Sentience, Claire Cognizance, um, Claire Gustins, they're all um, just hypersensitive uh hyper sensation of our regular senses like sight hearing smell taste touch and or thinking and all that so to let's see what more do i want So relaxation, I think, would be a nice thing to have for not just me, but the entire world, or just all of humanity, or at least the people who live at, within close proximity to me. Because you know this thing probably works like a um, radio signal; like it's definitely much stronger than um, uh, closest to where it's arising from, and you know as you go out at whatever it gets weaker as the distance increases. So let's see, sensitivity, relaxation, and three, what do I want more of? Um, how about peace? So less, um, Less violence would definitely be a step in the right direction for pretty much all of humanity. And I mean, I've been asking people recently the question, I finished this statement. I think the world would be a better place if blank. They usually say if people were not allowed to commit violence against others or if people were nice or if people are kind. Um, and I think... Yeah, that's about reducing violence, which would definitely, uh, the whole world could benefit from that. For sense, let's see, sensory relaxation, peace, uh, I'd like more, um, so, Ability to create one's own reality. I feel like that's power is more about um the ability to control one's own reality, to manipulate reality to to accord with one's will, and um being able to turn your um inner inspirations and insights or just yeah your inner ins inspirations into reality is definitely um. Would definitely help lots of people. No one's, no one has less power, I guess. Want more Ken and again, that's not just someone's name. That's a uh, 
actual word it means understanding or breadth of knowledge and uh the brain is probably the most scientifically advanced thing in the or technologically advanced thing in the world in the known world because i mean the brain the human brain is i guess the only thing that named itself and uh also we the human brain was responsible for the creation of the um uh international space station and like the hubble space space telescope and um the internet and satellites and all that so having a good brain is definitely um would help is the great thing um Okay, so what else do we want? We have sensory relaxation and peace. Can um Yeah, insight cause uh being able to interpret your own dreams or even the omens you see each day or, I don't know, having the insight for interpreting someone else's dream or, yeah, I'm sure that it's definitely not a bad thing to have more insight. Um, So more vitality that would definitely help a lot of people or it's definitely not no one wants less vitality, it's not a bad thing to have more vitality. And there's even that YouTube channel called Think Vitality. So just by thinking maybe that um, so. See eight. What more do we want? Talent. So ability to um turn one's dream into reality or ability. I never, I don't think I ever even entered a talent show in school, but, um, I'm sure I wouldn't do too bad, and, uh, um, I don't know if people like to watch me dance and whatever, so. To be a good musician, to out-compete others or whatever, and, uh so now let's see what else do we want more of um let's see talent vitality insight can Balance, that's definitely a good thing to have for everyone. I mean, physical balances, I know a lot of people struggle with that, me included. And, uh, yeah, I guess that's part of the reason why yoga is when uh, many of the poses are about practicing balance because, um, just finding new ways to. To view a challenge, like challenges are, uh, I think there's a quote by Oprah that life's challenges are just, you need to shift your perspective to, it's just a balanced challenge. So find a new way to 
stand. Okay, so ten. What? What else do we want more of? Um. Mm hmm. Uh, let's see if the last one, so let's make a good one. Um, mm -hmm. Just success. I guess that one's kind of more general because, yes, it is definitely very general, but, um, having good, uh, You know, just more capacity to accomplish all my hopes for the future and everything. So now we got to decorate this one to make it I guess, more attractive to the gods or even yourself. Like, uh, humans like decoration, so I don't know, like, Native Americans definitely... They said the reason why Native Americans always use, like, war paint, what we'd call war paint, which probably for them was not always a thing of war. It was just they, like, make up, they liked to dress up or decorate themselves. Yeah, they weren't all about war, but, um... They weren't all about war all the time, but, uh... So, they said it would it was so that God can see them better, which... Mm -hmm. yeah, so, I guess people wearing a lot of jewelry are more attention-grabbing than... People who don't or but I don't I'm not really sure I don't wear that much jewelry or because I'm not too big on fashion. So So hopefully that's more or less the uh Eye of Horus, or sorry, I gotta learn more about how to do that. Um, So, not really sure what this one doesn't have any specific meaning, but I see it in meditation pretty frequently, so it definitely has some, whatever, some significance. Um, This one's a labyrinth, the labyrinth I've heard, so. Well, I've seen it in meditation, so. Definitely has some. Significance. The Ankh. That's our Egyptian section. Okay. 
Okay, that one's called an Alembic. Or they said was Sigil Alchemist used. And Alembic is always about water distillation, purification, so. Um, oh, I guess since uh, today is the new moon of Taurus, since we are in Taurus now. I'll give a um, sign of Taurus the ball. So, mm. I believe that's a sigil for platinum. So, I know platinum is the highest standard of a. Uh, platinum is even more viable than silver and gold. So, there are like, platinum records and. Yep, so. Sheldon, not really sure what its meaning is, but it definitely has some significance. Um, I almost forgot I gotta do one of these. Definitely cannot go without Midas star. So King Midas or this is all, all about abundance. So definitely worthwhile to have one of these. Mm. Okay, that was supposed to be a universal hexagram, but I think I can do one better, so let's try. Okay, that's better. We'll do this as well. Of them. I believe that's Saturn. I believe that's Sigil of Saturn. Um, let's see, what else? Do I want, um... Little dragon and for the tea god's eye. Exusha and uh let's see if we can fit in a little more around. Mm. 
That's not really sure what the name of that one is, but it's definitely means something. And, um, okay, let's see what we can fit in over here from the midpoint around here. Yeah, that's one of the sides, and I think that's all we have room for here, so here is my own. Let's see, March 8th, Taurus, New Moon. So, thank you for watching. So, keep thinking outside the box. Keep, uh... I guess carving your sigils into the ether or candles or whatever and uh stay open minded, keep doing the yoga, work on the flexibility and balance and fertilize your body and I hope you enjoyed this. Thanks for watching.